What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about XRP at the request of Ronald Reyes. Ronald, we're doing this one for you. Uh, hit that like button, you guys. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. It helps the channel grow whenever you do things like that. And I just, I really appreciate anybody and everybody that does that. Thank you very much. Hit that like one last time and let's get started. From a high to a low, XRP has messed around with this 382, 236 area a lot. And you are finally back at it. Um, at least, you know, it's your first time being back up here since April, the beginning of April. Closing above it would be nice. You've got about five days left, four days and 20 hours. That's a nice 420 number right there. Uh, if you can close above the 382 this week, that'd be really nice to see. You might be moving up to about 94 cents and beyond, right? Seeing new highs for this, uh, this cycle. I do think XRP will see new all-time highs, not just new cycle highs, but new all-time highs. Um, by the end of this cycle. Time will tell, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but from a high point to a low point, you know, let's see, actually, I wonder, let's see. That would put you there, right? This would be your test. And you know, I gotta say, there's a couple things I'm noticing right now that I really like. So if you move to your 1272, it would have to be this week, okay? This week right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this away, but I wanna bring this FIB back because I really do like this FIB. Um, if you move to your 1272 this week, you would technically be just above this line here. And that's your minimum expected extension to hit once you close above your 61869 area. Okay, so once you close above 66.3 cents, um, the likely target that you would hit, like your next high would at least be a dollar and 19 cents essentially, which would take you just above this trend line. Just above isn't good enough, but it is a little bit exciting. That's your minimum target though, your minimum expected target, right? So let's say you see something that's larger than that, right? Let's see that you see something a little bit ahead of your minimum target. Let's say you move up to a dollar 62. That definitely would break this trend line and breaking this trend line, getting close to your past cycles high, I think would really start to give people the vision, the idea that XRP really could see new all time highs, right? Right now it's easy to hate on it. Right now it's easy to be doubtful, but you close above this, I'm telling you, you close above this 66.3 cent to 70.69 cent area, it's very likely that you're gonna see a new high versus this, and that minimum expected high would already take you above this trend line that you have here based on the cycle to cycle highs that you've had. So that in itself is exciting. 1272 itself isn't enough to get completely excited over. You could just pierce it and then reject. It could be a fake out, okay? But that's your minimum target. If you see something that's deeper, that's more significant, which is very, you have a very solid chance of doing, which would be at like $1.35 to $1.62, um, that would be even more encouraging. And I think a lot of people would start to believe in XRP at that point. At this point in time, you know, you might find resistance at a common area to find resistance. You could check back and find support at your previous areas of uh, resistance on this trend line and then move up. The way I have it drawn, this would be all the way out in July of 2026. I don't think it's gonna happen like that, right? I just, I'm on the week or the monthly time frame, so it's little moves make a lot of time, right? Um, but I do think you could find resistance in this area, pull back, maybe you consolidate in this area even, and then you move higher. Um, and I do think that you stand to see new all-time highs, okay? And the reason why, first off, you'd break this trend. If you break above the last cycle's highs, that would definitely get a lot of excitement in, uh, in the markets for XRP. Um, everybody knows about XRP, so whenever it does things that are like more bullish than its last cycle, I think people are going to pay attention to it, right? People are paying attention to it now, and it's it's boring. There's so many people that just love to hate on it because it is so boring, um, and it's normally those coins that that are boring that that actually do the best. But if we're looking at this for what it is, you tipped your 382 from your all-time high to your 2020 uh, lows of the bear cycle, the COVID crash there. Finding support, tipping that 382 like this, okay. If you break above your 618 on, on this, which is actually at 89.2 cents to a dollar 14 and a half cents right there, dollar 14 and a half to 89.2 cents, this range, when you close in this range or above it, you really do stand a chance to move up to about eight dollars and 60 cents to technically $28. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think 28 would happen. I'm skeptical if $14 even happens, but let's just see what that would be. Let's do XRP, shout out to Jason Derulo coin. 
It's actually my most recent purchase, you guys. I did buy some Jason Derulo coin. In case anybody thinks I'm crazy talking about this, there's a little bit extra for you. Um, 33.8 billion is what you've got right now. 33.8, so let's just put that in there. 33.8, these are in the, the, the terms of billions. If we do XRP here, we take it from the current price, we put it at the minimum expected target. Let's actually put it at $14 just to get the maximum here. That'd be a 22.8X, roughly 22.8. So 22.8, this is in the terms of billions. If we see a thousand, I don't think we'll actually see a thousand. So that'd be 770 billion. Um, $770 billion market cap. It's a very high market cap. Most cryptos can't achieve that number, but I think a coin like XRP that's been around for multiple cycles that's held up and stood stood to be relevant in the test of time of, of crypto itself, and not only that, but it's when I say relevant, it's been, you guys, XRP has been in the top 10, it's been in the top five most of its life. It really has been, and if we took out coins like USDC, Lido Staked Ether, and USDT, it would still be in the top five. These coins are technically cryptos, but they're 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 replicates or or uh, dollar tethers, right? This might as well be dollars. This this here is just Ethereum, right? It's it's the same, it's the same stuff. It's not the same, but it's the same. You know what I mean? So like this, this, and this shouldn't even be there. XRP is the number five crypto, right? This market cap here is should just be like in in uh, correlation, or it should be added to Ethereum in in a certain sense. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but but kind of, right? Um, and then this is just as good as dollars. So like these coins aren't even like technically in the markets. They are cryptos technically, but they're they're it's instead of your dollars being in your pockets, it's in this. It's not technically holding. I would say XRP has maintained its top five spot for its entirety of its of its existence. Technically, um, a coin like that could see a market cap that is upwards to seven hundred and seventy billion dollars. I think it really could. Um, Especially because you know it's the only coin that actually went up to the went up against the SEC and it did not lose. They did not win. They did not win their lawsuit. No, they did not. They they got a tie. They just did not lose either. But that would be seven hundred seventy billion, and I believe that's possible, right? A fourteen x versus a twenty two point eight x. That would be roughly like a three hundred and fifty billion or a little bit more than than th that would probably be around like a four hundred billion dollar market cap, which is still insane, but even more possible. If I think that's possible, I even think that's possible. So I would say XRP seeing prices at eight sixty by the end of the cycle are absolutely possible. You could find resistance. It is completely possible that you find resistance at your all time highs, your current all time highs. Maybe maybe you don't find new all time highs this cycle and then the next cycle you can try again and finally you get there. Um, but either way, I definitely think that XRP is on its way to prices that are above $3 and likely, in my opinion, even above $8 by the end of this cycle. So it's very exciting stuff. You're only at 60 cents right now. Uh, you know, that's, that's a lot of, uh, it's a big ask for XRP with such a high market cap, but I'm sure a lot of XRP long-term holders are excited about that. You know, I was talking to one of my friends who, uh, IRL, one of my IRL friends, actually a long-term family friend, and we were talking about XRP and he was saying, uh, that XRP is one of the most tradable coins out there. And I, I was like, that's exactly what I say, man. Like he, he doesn't watch my videos. I don't think he does. Um, but that would be a huge non, that would not be a coincidence if he did, but I'm, I don't think he watches my videos, but it is one of the most tradable coins is what I'm trying to say. Right. And that's, that's what he was saying. Cause it, it moves down, it moves up, buy it, sell it easy, buy it, sell it like it. And it's easier said than done. But right now we're at a relative high point, you know, it might be a good idea to sell and wait. And then whenever it comes down, it might be a good time to buy. And then, you know, and then it'll, I think it is working its way up over time. I think it is working its way up and if you hold, it's always good to have a long-term hold bag because you never know when these explosive moves can happen. When it wants to run, it does it very fast, and it often does it when when everybody has disbelief shrouded around it. So I'm, I would expect that it happens soon. It's been a long time since we've seen a move like like these moves, right? Like it's been a very long time. And in fact, if we were to look at it like this from a, I don't know, from from this point, from our last like really big move here, to this area whenever it started to see big moves, right? It took all this bear cycle to finally get some big moves. That was about 151 bars right here where we saw our last one. Come on, if I can get it there. To where we are now, it's about 160. We're overdue, man. I think we're overdue. This was a big move in itself, but it wasn't sustained. It was just fake. People bought it because 
you know, this pump happened because people were like, they beat the FC SEC. And then the news came out that, no, they did not beat the SEC. They actually lost part of it, and they, they owe money. They owe legal fees and, are, and were fined, right? They were found guilty of things and found innocent of things. So it was a big deal for crypto, less of a big, a big deal for XRP too, but more of a big deal for the space as a whole, I think. Um, you know, that's, that's all opinion, <coughs> whatever. <coughs> but what's not opinion is it has been a very long time since we've seen XRP do what XRP does, which is just skyrocket without a moment's notice. So for anybody that's looking to trade it, it is very tradable, but it could be any moment now that this thing literally blasts off to prices that are well above a dollar. So um, we might be in the midst of that move now, right? So I, I don't know. I can do all the TA I want on it, but it might not actually be useful, right? Like technically right now, the way it looks from a low point to a high point, I would be expecting a move down to 52 cents. You might not get it, especially if we're in one of these explosive moves right now. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if we were. It really wouldn't. Um, volumes coming in, volumes, you know, building. You broke out. Like it's a nice breakout range. You could pull back to this 382 area. It is possible. It's a very common thing to do, but you might not. I don't know. If you do move down, 52.4 cents is where I would think you go. But inevitably, I really do believe that your next kind of target area, your next like somewhat significant high would be around $1.90 to $1.62. And that's all I got to say. So hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for being here. XRP to new all-time highs by the end of the cycle. That's what I got to say. Bye-bye.